would help America advance its interests in the region, but rather because I believe Singapore has the potential to lead in so many positive ways for the benefit of the whole international community. Finally, uh, let me say, um, your dean, uh, my host, my gracious host this evening, uh, has a reputation for pulling no punches. He's been tough on us just in the last couple of days um, with his editorials and analyzing uh, American policy and recent American history. Uh, and I often, um, frankly, see and read and hear important Singaporeans very openly and enthusiastically expressing their opinions about the United States, encouraging American voters to vote one way or another, to take on one candidate's position or another from 10,000 miles away. There's no shortage, of course, of opinions in Singapore about the American economy, what went wrong, what went right, of what needs to happen, what sacrifices uh, Americans must make. And I have to say, I think that's great. Uh, the United States is built on this powerful marketplace of ideas, and we look forward to and encourage the constructive criticism, especially from our trusted friends around the world, and there is no more trusted friend than the friend we have in Singapore. Thank you very much, and I look forward to your questions.